See, guys, this is it. This is Nigeria. Fortunately for me, is money. My beloved country. I would give my last blood for Nigeria. If I was in the military, if I was in the police, if I was in the Air Force, I would give my last blood for Nigeria. This is not a made up word. Do I look scared to you? Am I the scared type? Or do I look like the kind of citizens you bring guns to threaten? Do you think I've not passed that kind of stage where you come and threaten me with guns and uh, you think I will shiver and do shit? No, I'm not going to. Because you people, you government, don't you have shame? I think what happens in Libya and Egypt is going to happen in this country. You will be amazed how boys will bring out guns. You'll be amazed how gun, uh, our boys will bring out knife and cutlets and everything to butcher you all because you have ripped this country off everybody's sweat, including the people that protect you. All you've been doing is lies. You've always lied. You lie to your teeth. You do obvious lies. You see, I look at everyone that has ever participated in voting for you. You, Buari. You, the past president, good luck, Jonathan. You, everyone who has ever been president, everyone who has ever been a governor, the mayor of this country, uh, the mayor of this state, Lagos, of great states in Nigeria, even to the north, to the west, and to the south, all of you are bloody fucking criminals. You are all thieves. You lie to your teeth. Please, tell your spokesman to call me out and analyze to me what your regime has done for my country. What have you done for my state? All of you. You, the present sitting president. What have you done for my country? Things is happening. Things are happening all over the country. And you sit in Hassle Rock without bloody talking about... <laughs> Who's your spokesperson? His job should be taken... Every of his jobs should be taken away from him. Who's your PR? Who is PR for Nigeria? Your bloody... Uh, your nonsense uh, people that you put in your cabinet. The past one from the good Lord Jonathan. That stupid lady. What's her name? She called her name Daisy Honey. Oh, are you surprised our talk is coming up in this one? Daisy Honey. God, a thief, a woman thief, bloody national thief, came out with a video where she's bloody hiding. She's hiding in the fucking republic she is. She came out and said, all this, yahweh, yahweh, boys, with a bloody accent. And she raised curses on innocent boys. You know they are innocent. Please come closer. Come closer. Prof Oshibajo, you're a Christian. And that's why I'm calling your name alone. You are old enough to be my uncle and my father. But sir, do you know, do you even know that that lady is lying that she didn't steal money you know you know you know it's all of you i'm just surprised that you christian can find yourself in that shit. you know that she's lying you know to her teeth how could you lie she stole a lot of money you know that sofa she bought for four million that kind of sofa for four million dollars I, as an actor, should be the only one to own that kind of sofa. I, as a businessman, should be the only one to own such sofa. 
not you, government worker. You volunteer to serve your country. So, if you cannot, if you are not being paid well or you didn't steal money, you can't even afford to buy a 20 million naira apartment, not to talk of your 350 million naira apartment in Banana Island. Not to talk about your sky rise, not to talk about the diamonds and the gold you people launder and do. And you take every sweat that belongs to the Nigerians. You take it away from them. Now, the people who carry guns behind you cannot even feed their family. The people who does this to protect you can't even feed their family. There was a day I was on the third mainland. Guess what? I was on the Obalende Bridge trying to get to Onikon and there is a straight line. But people are passing, that they are making a second row. So I passed the second row and I moved forward so that I can join the queue at the front and bear. You know, I'm a bloody fucking corrupt actor too. I do stupid things. I manipulate, I take one way. I am. You know why I am? Because you showed me the fucking way. Even you. A local government chairman will carry siren and be blowing the bloody hell out of Nigerians. There was a day one, I'm coming back to my story, but there was a day one did that and I was in the traffic and I got up because the siren was so fucking loud. And I saw, I felt, this is not a motorcade of a president. This is not a motorcade of a, of a senator or a governor. This is a motorcade of a normal Nigerian. Without knowing that that bloody man, uh, that bloody man is, is a chairman, local government chairman. And he's just disturbing the peace. And all the bloody people we are together in that line, they ain't saying anything. They're not talking. So I said, if you bash my car, I, I keep doing this. Chop or a me, like the Ibadan says. Chop or a me. And I bloody doing, I, I keep doing this. I said, if you bash my car, your siren and your gap will not leave here because I will not take it. And the police came and said, Are you crazy? I said, Pat, I said, You won't be here, da. Yeah, I won't be da. It no go better for you. If, the, if you point your finger again, and that guy said, And I came out from my car and I said, Who the fuck are you? I said, Hop your fucking siren. You are blowing it into people's hair. What the fuck are you, I don't, I, uh, is your monarchy for? And the man came out and said, oh, Mr. Actor. I said, don't call me an actor. Who the fuck are you? Are you not a citizen of Nigeria? And we had a very terrible fight just here. Just here at Alausa here. And he came and he apologized. And I said, hey, who are you? The only person that has right to blow such siren is the ambulance, the school buses. Before the president is the ambulance, in case you don't know, before the president, the only and only way I can go out of this way for you to pass is if the president is approaching the school bus or the ambulance. Those are the three major things I should respect on the road. Not you. Who are you? You are just like me because you are trying to get to a quick way. Because it's the quick way you people use. Without knowing that was the stupid guy I met at the, at the airport some years ago that was telling the attendant of the flight, I, I'm not going to mention any flight. He was saying, please be fast. I really need to go. And the woman looked at her and said, if you really need to go, this is the boss. I think you should book a private flight. A private jet before his brain came down he's trying to rush again ha, you see only me then book the bloody jet look the bird and fly then i got to that bridge back to my story and a policeman stopped me and i said the only way you can take me to the station or to detain me here is by if you pick that downfall going in front 
there's a Volvo that was in front of me too. Then there, there's a Volvo and there is a Mercedes Benz in front. So I'm driving a BMW. So the only way, I don't know the people that have gone before me, they are lucky, but the only way you would take me is that you take all this. So those cars are not flashy. Mine was red, wine, I lied. Mine was wine and uh, you know, uh, I think it's flashy, so they picked me. So when they came in, even the man does not know that I'm an actor, which pleases me because I hate it when they say, Oh, Baba, and the man said, Wait till we go do a guy because I just want chop. Nobody say I want cash. I want, I need money to feed. I said, oh, Boy, you be put this out, they're going to pay you. And I carried the lady in my car and uh, the lady said, Arim, would you please give them, uh, give him something? He has said something, but just give him something so that we will catch our movie. And the police said, ah, movie, you they go cinema. I said, I they go cinema now. Ah, for this kind of Monday, I said, I look like banker to you. She now, she be where they work for office now, my office I could be. But I'm not the bank, I'll be actor. So I get every time. If I know the location and I don't do my business, now I will go watch him now. Make I die. Why they follow rules? No, I don't need to follow rules now. I know if he die. Then I said, okay, you know what you're gonna do? You said, carry your gun, eh? Make we go. I'll keep your gun, make we go. I will pay for your cinema. Come say, wait. Is that how much be ticket? I said one thousand. One thousand. Just to see him. I said, yes, now. He said 1,000. Wait, I will take cook for us. I said, why are you they lie? You these police people. Everything they, they make you lie. Because you're going to true now. With that 1,000, and my wife no go vexed by any chance. I said, are you kidding me? He said he's not lying. And guess what? You know you have to, you don't have to go to a detective school before you know, before you can detect that someone is lying or not. I can see it all over him. This guy, body, um, uh, body language, his body is even shaking. He's in my car. He has breath issue. He has body uh 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 killer man quiz. body smell what, what is it called? He has everything. What do you think? Why should things be like this? I wanted to give the guy two thousand before, I had to give the guy twenty thousand, and I'll give him one thousand to hold, and I'll say please. Give this 1,000 to your guy when they look you like this. Keep that 20,000. You must call me. This is my number. When you reach us, make your wife tell me, say, you give him 10,000. Say, okay, thank you. Say, my husband said, hey, give me 10,000. You must give your wife 10,000. And you must use the 10,000 to find something to eat. And all I gave you the money for is just for that food. Where you mentioned. So that your wife will cook good food for you. That guy almost prostrated for me in the car. If that car had a lot of space, it would have prostrated. And I said, no, my brother. I just need you to know that we are the same thing. Oshibadu. Buari. I shall worry. You know that the Ziani stole that money. All the people you've accused of money, you know they stole the money. Why do you have to tell them to build yourself with like